How you doing guys? This is just a quick video. You've probably seen this already or heard about this already, but uh, Morrissey, the artist Morrissey, um, has had his record pulled from um, presumably more than one chain of um, record store. And also the reason I'm bringing this up is because Mersey Rail who operate trains and they operate some buses as well. They, they have taken it upon themselves to take down some of Morris's um, posters in their train stations because somebody doesn't approve of his views. I mean, how fucking ridiculous can you get? You know, kicking up a fuss simply because you don't agree with somebody's opinions and views. I mean, how... how <laughs> How can you justify it? How can you seriously justify doing that? This is something we see a lot as, you know, and, I, and I've put some things out on this channel, especially over the last week or so. But how on earth can you simply justify as an organization like Mersey Rail taking down posters just because somebody doesn't like the, the way that the person who's in those posters thinks, feels, or, or, or their views and opinions. I mean, let's show you this. This is on the Liverpool Echo Twitter. Um, commuter offended by Morrissey posters plasters across Mersey Rail Station. I've already responded to this, and you know, I've said it offends me that people who want their views and opinions heard fight back against others who share their views and opinions. Either we all have the right to believe what we want and have our own views, or none of us do. You know, and I, strive, I believe that. I genuinely believe that you can't police some views and opinions while appeasing others. We either all have the ability and the choice and the, the right to have our opinions and share them, or none of us do. It's as simple as that. You, you know, there's no grey area. It is black and white. You either allow us all to have opinions and views or none of us and it, it's just absolutely mind-blowing the way that people behave and they think they can get away with it. in fact they do get away with this stuff this is the problem now some of these other comments on this twitter post here this is susie there was a poster at west kirby train station earlier this afternoon i didn't see anyone showing any offense with it being there and another one, I thought this was a free country. It's his business. We all have different views. Fascism is the way the UK is going. And then we've got fascism comes to mind for the commuter who complained because he has different views. Uh, and then we've got here, laugh out loud, same again. When will you realise the far right hate for Britain and Tommy Robinson so your logic is flawed again? And then shut your mouth. How can you say I go about things the wrong way? I'm human. You need to be and need to be loved. I don't, I don't know what that's all about, but... Let's have a look at the actual article for a moment. So this is on the Liverpool Echo newspaper. So a commuter offended by Morrissey posters plastered across Mersey Rail station. Mersey Rail, oh, come on. God, I'll tell you what, they need to get a, a new host because this runs terribly. Right, Mersey Rail has ordered the removal of Morrissey posters plastered on its services and stations after an angry commuter complained about the singer's controversial views. The former Smiths frontman is adv advertising his new solo album, California Sun, which is due to be released on Friday. However, his support for far-right parties and leaders have made him a controversial figure, leaving Mersey Rail scrambling to get the posters removed after one Liverpool commuter voiced his offence. So what now happens if a bunch of people voice their offence at having those posters taken down? Does that mean that they're going to put them back up? I'm going to find out because I'm going to phone Mersey Rail. I will. And I'm going to tell them that I'm offended by them taking the posters down. Uh, I will record that call and we'll see how that goes. So let's move on. Jack Dutchin 32 was taking a Southport service into Moorfields this morning when he spotted the posters and he wasn't happy. Oh dear. The Toxteth resident said, the things Morrissey has said offended me and a lot of other people. Well, if it's offended a lot of other people, why has only one person complained? You fucking idiot. 
He's very far right these days, going on about immigrants and being pseudo racist. Well, that's his opinion. And what? You know, you're clearly on the left and people will be offended by you being on the left. Does that mean that we're allowed to attack you? It's just strange to think Mersey Rail being a public service for the people is advertising someone with his views. Well, surely we're all allowed to share our views, providing that they're not actually inciting racism or whatever it might be, you know, hatred. It's not, in my opinion, this is, and again, I am not for, for Britain or Tommy Robinson or any of those other um, parties. I, as, as I've said, and I'll always say, until a politician actually does what they say they're gonna do and actually does that for the people, then I refuse to support any of them. This is just my opinion on this situation. I think that if anybody comes over here and from another country and they are you know, doing their part in this country, they're paying their taxes, they're working, you know, and they're being a part of society over here, then I personally, I don't see a problem with that. But people that are coming over to abuse our system, people that are coming over here to hurt our system and to hurt the citizens of this of this country they are the ones in my opinion that that we need to restrict we we can't keep allowing people to come here purposely to to attack our way of life and and, and to damage our society but there are many here and i've got many indian and, and uh, asian and black friends um that i you know and, and i've worked with lots uh, and i've got nothing against any of them I just think that to have an opinion that people coming into the country, as opposed to having a people an opinion about the people that are, you know that were born here, that live here, that you know actively contribute to society, I don't see. I I don't see there being a problem with that. It's it's a view, it's a standpoint, it's an opinion, and we're all allowed those. Well. <laughs> I should do that really, shouldn't I? We're all allowed those. Uh, so let me crack on. Now, look, I know some of you are gonna give me hate for what I've just said there, right? And, and that's absolutely fine. Again, I appreciate your views and opinions. Um, this is just my views and opinions. So then we move on. It's just pictures of Morrissey with his new album. He's not doing anything inappropriate, but his name is a by name for questionable views at the moment. No, it's not. Nobody gives a shit whether we're supporting, you know, who is supporting. Nobody gives a shit. They're only giving a shit because you've brought it up and the, the media have thought, oh, this will make a good story. It's a bit of controversy. Uh, it will get people to come and come to our website. And that's all it is. So lot, rec lots of record stores are refusing to stock it, so I'm not the only one to say it. But to Mersey Rail, you're the only one to say it because they've said only one person's complained, and that was you, you knobbit. Morrissey has denied being a racist on multiple occasions, telling NME in 2018 that it was just a way of changing the subject. However, the world's oldest record store, Spillers Records in Cardiff, refused to stop the album due to Morris's support for the far-right political party for Britain, including wearing a badge with the party's logo when performing on a US talk show. So, again, let's imagine he was wearing a Conservative badge or a Labour badge. Is that okay? All of these parties have different views and opinions on how the country should be run. And the good thing about democracy and the good thing about a civilised society is that we are allowed to have those views. And we are allowed to decide ourselves whether we want to follow a particular party or a path uh, or whether we don't want to follow that particular path. And who the fuck are you to make a complaint about somebody who has their own views and opinions? Anne-Marie Waters, the leader of For Britain, has described, described Islam as evil and as a culture that does not fit with our own. I'm not going to comment on that. I don't know enough about Islam to make any statements on that, okay? Um, I only know certain things. I haven't looked into it. And because I don't know enough about it, uh, I'm not going to make an opinion because it won't be a, a completely informed opinion, okay? So... 
She thanked Morrissey for raising the profile of the party, saying, I can tell you that the traffic to our website exploded with the story breaking of you wearing the For Britain button badge. The How Soon Is Now singer has become increasingly controversial for a string of remarks, including his support for EDL founder Tommy Robinson in the wake of his sentencing for contempt of court. The thing is, is he supporting Tommy Robinson for being, you know, uh, the EDL founder, or is he supporting Tommy Robinson because he thinks that Tommy Robinson's uh, arrest and, and charges were bogus? There's two different, two very different things going on there. You know, you can support somebody because they're being mistreated bad, even if you don't like that person, even if you don't support that person's views and opinions. If somebody's treated wrong and you can support that person. This is another example of how the media seem to twist the narrative and make it, you know, they omit certain information to make it sound differently and to make people... You know, they're kind of, people are supposed to make their own informed decisions, but the way that things like this article are written is guiding people to a conclusion. And that's wrong. Jack called Mersey Rail to ask why they thought it was appropriate to feature the adverts, but was told posters across the service are placed by ad agency Exterior Media. Mersey Rail told the Echo advertising on the Mersey Rail network is managed by an external third party who are currently in the process of removing these posters. Processes are in place for Mersey Rail to approve any potentially contentious material prior to it appearing on the network. However, due to the nature of this advertisement, it did not reach a level of veri verification. Mersey Rail will work with third party supplier to improve this process in the future. Any content used within advertising on the Mersey network does not reflect the organisation's values and we apologise for any offence the publication of those posters may have caused. The Echo contracted Exterior, who declined to comment. Now, I am, I genuinely am disgusted that a corporation like Mersey Rail feel that they can censor people's views and opinions. Again, I, you know, I don't listen to Morrissey. I'm not a fan of Morrissey. I'm not a fan of For Britain. Uh, you know, <laughs> I. I, I'm speechless. I, I, I don't know what to say. Who the hell is anybody to tell us what we can and cannot see or hear? Who the hell is, um, you know, who, who has the right to censor us? If you don't like something, as I've said countless times, ignore it move on go and have a cry in a fucking corner whatever you want to do okay but stop trying to take over everybody's lives and and direct us in a way that people don't want to go it's absolute it's, it's fucking criminal i am going to phone mersey Rail. it's too late to phone mersey Rail now i'm going to phone mersey Rail tomorrow in fact i'm gonna where's my pen i'm gonna make a note of it right now So that I don't forget. Cool. Mersey Rail about Morrissey posters and call what were they called? Exterior Media. Exterior Media about Morrissey posters. Right, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna to phone them up tomorrow. Uh, no, I'm not gonna phone them up tomorrow because it's bloody weekend. I'm gonna phone them up and it's, oh God, what a time to do this. It's a bank holiday on Monday. I'm gonna phone them on Tuesday uh, and I will record it, okay? I will record the phone call um, and I'll let you know how that gets on. But I just think that this is, I think it's wrong. I think it's, I think it's an infringement on, on our rights to be able to make informed decisions ourselves, what we want to do. Uh, so anyway, I'm leaving it there. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, yet again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Come and find me on Twitter. 
um, at PAP underscore YouTube. So that's at PAP underscore YouTube. Um, share the video if you like it. Appreciate that. And comment. I know you will. I've um, got some fabulous group of people in this community uh, who you know who comment and, and share their views and opinions and I love it I absolutely love it uh, so thank you all for being part of this community and for um, you know taking the time to watch these videos so until next time good night all